welcome to another great episode of Real Life Matters. Of course, I'm your host, D Boss. Um, today, you know, we got a, um, somebody here in in the studio, and we have somebody that's been that went through a lot of hardship, a lot of trials, a lot of tr uh, you know things that's happening with him in the music industry. So we'd like to know. Well, I introduced you today how this immigrant journey made him flourish to what he is today. So with no other further ado, I introduce to you today, Sony Said So. The Deep Boss, thank you for having me. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome, Sony Said So. Boy, that's that says a lot there in your name. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I went for that. <laughs> is that your, is that, can you tell how you got the name? So I, I grew up, everyone, everyone called me Sonny. That was kind of my childhood nickname. And, um, you know, I, I think the said so just really went well with it. And uh, it, it kind of goes with the fact that I make music. So I just, I just like the name I took to it and uh, and I went with it. So Sony, was, is Sony your name or no? So it's Sonny. Sonny. Yeah. Sonny said so. Sonny, Sonny, Sonny said so. Well, at least I'm, I'm relating it to some good Sony. So, Sonny <laughs> said so. <laughs> That's right. I guess you get people say that too. Sony said so. So All Sonny said so. <laughs> All the time. All the time. Fair All right. Mistake. Can you tell everybody where you're coming from? So I'm from Toronto. Originally, I'm from Bulgaria. Okay. Uh, I came. I came to Canada when I was around four years old with my parents, and uh, I've been. Raised in Toronto my whole life, uh, specifically East York area, uh, the Pape, Pape Village area, Pape and Cosburn area. Oh, okay. So what, okay. So you had a lot of journey, a big journey as an artist. So you can tell everybody what kind of struggles you went through? I mean, I think, I think the biggest struggles uh, as an artist in Toronto were uh, connecting with other artists for myself specifically. And where I'm from in my area, um, there wasn't too many hip hop artists, DJs or uh, producers. So I think just getting my, my foot in the game and, and networking and, and finding the right studio and the right people to work with, I think that was the biggest uh, struggle in the music industry for myself. I mean, obviously, aside from financing and funding everything. Okay, so you actually fund your own self, like you work. You, this is not your full time. You do you work, right? Yeah, I work six days a week. Uh, it's all going to the music. So, it's, well, uh, you know, kudos to you for that because you need to work. A lot of people don't understand. You got to work to get these videos out, to make this stuff out, make this stuff work. And you know, and and if you don't work, like, where's the money coming from for you to do it? You just can't sit down and just relax, right? And that's exactly, and that's the thing. For a long time, I. Um, I don't want to say I was looking for a handout, but I was I was banking on my talent, and uh, you know once once you get a little more experience in the industry, you realize that if you don't do it yourself, no one's gonna do it for you. You gotta you gotta really go in the grind, hustle, get that money, and and invest in yourself. And uh, if if I had one thing to tell any of the the guys getting into the the music industry is just you know find find a source of income and and um, run with it you know, something stable and just take money, put it aside and, and just make sure you're investing in yourself. Oh, okay. And that's something that you do. So you, you, I guess everything ties into what you do. Your album is called 72 Gamble. Now, well, we will be right back. You know, I guess, uh, you know, sometimes you do have these technical difficulties, but what we're going to do is we're going to just take a brief break and we'll be right back with Sonny Said So. Looking for a TV show that brings you a raw, uncut, unbiased opinion? What about a show providing a platform to tell us about your business or talent? Tune in to Talk It Out, Monday through Friday, hosted by Chill of Come Clean Empire and his co-host, The Boss, Corey Whitmore, and DJ Despair, where we bring you not just a TV show, but a TV experience. Welcome to Real Life Matters. I'm your host, D-Boss. 
Real Life Matters is a power-packed, inspired program that brings you real people with real matters. If you are a company, brand, or artist, we will take you to the next level. Watch Real Life Matters Monday to Friday right here. When the road is long and heavy, when it's dark and I can't see clearly. Blessed love from Barbados, or as we so beautifully like to say here on the island, what going on, lovely people? I'm Bugging Akente, the spirit of the people. I'd like to welcome you to the Rhythm Caribbean Top 10 Countdown, bringing you some of the hottest artists, songs, and videos from across the entire Caribbean. So stay you. tuned. Rhythm. Well, we're back, everybody, with Sunny Said So. I'm so glad you came back. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It cut out there on me for a second. I wasn't sure uh, what was going on. This technology, I'm telling you, anything, anything can happen. So, uh, whereas we're saying, 72 Gamble. So, how did you come up with that name? So, 72 Gamble, um, really, that's that's the first building I lived in when I, when I moved to Canada. That's the oh. first building I moved in with my parents, uh, Gamble. Is the street uh pretty much i grew up my childhood uh before we moved into our first home um but yeah like i mean i had to bring it back to my roots i really wanted to represent my community uh the beautiful thing is a lot of us that came uh it was like 94 early 90s we came uh, a lot of immigrant families from eastern europe serbia albania bulgaria and um we all kind of st stuck together we we, we maintain friendships for the most part, um, it's a it's a very big uh, Greek community as well there, and I just wanted to give the give a voice to to all my people there. Well, shout out them, you know. Here you are. <laughs> that's it. That's it. All right. So, so the meeting th that name has a lot of sentimental value to you. Yeah, so, for sure. Right. Okay. So the song that you have, immigrant vision. So what's that about? That song is a little bit about, you know, it's just some of the, the things I've gone through, uh, a little bit of my story, you know, a little bit of my uh, my friends, my, my family story as well. And uh, it, pretty much the song is just about a vision that we have when we come to Canada, you know, and everybody wants to grow, succeed, uh, prosper. And I just wanted to embody that in, a, in, my, in my artwork, in my music. And um, yeah, that's how it, it came up, Immigrant Vision. And, I, and you know what? I thought a lot of people would definitely be able to relate to uh, my story. And that's why I made it my uh, my single off of the album to release. I recorded a video to it as well. I know a lot of people are writing. They don't want to say they're immigrant. From They came into Canada. And here you are writing a, a song saying that it's you. You know what I mean? So Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean, the, the response from the community was absolutely uh, tremendous. I, I was really taken back by it. A lot of people reached out to me. They were able to relate to the music. They, they liked the music. And I don't know, it, it was just, it was a success in my eyes, you know, just for the fact that I, I had full support from my community. Wow. And that's pretty good. You know, so it's good that your your parents support you, your community supports you. So, you know, that's a big, you know, something in your, your ego that gives you a good elevation for your ego there for being in the in, in this kind of in this field where it's hard, you know what I mean? To get. Yeah, for sure. Exactly. You know, um when when you're doing this, uh you you, you have self-doubt throughout the whole process until 
you start seeing results. Um, it was a long time coming, this album. I worked a very long time on just coming up with the funding for it. Because, like, my, my theory is, you know, I, I didn't want to release anything unless it was um, at a competitive level. You know, I needed it to look professional. I needed it to sound professional. And um, it took a while, but you know what? It's all about timing, and sometimes God knows what he's doing, and, and now is the time for me. Yeah, it, it, it is. It really is the timing. And, you know, and, and, you know, timing is everything. So you do, so did, is anybody in your family an artist, uh, you know, does, did music or anything? Um, well, my, my mom's always been very artistic. She, uh, she loves to draw. She always, she's always had a creative take on things. Um, but as far as music goes, no, I, I would be the first one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's okay. Um, that, you know, that's great. So who have you worked with in the industry? Um, so I've done collaborations. Uh, right now I'm working out of T16 Studios. I'm working with Jude there. He's a, he's a really tremendous uh, engineer. He's amazing at what he does. Um, that's probably my most solid collaboration. Um, I, I also work with uh, Evan. His, uh, he goes by the name of Q. Uh, That's, that's been really exciting. I mean, um, in terms of artists, I wanted to really drop a solo album without any collaborations or features, just okay. to show what I can do. Right. And, uh, moving forward now, I'm really looking forward to uh, really working with some folks. Uh, I know we, we did a we did a song there with Danny Fernandez, but we we never released it on the album. So moving forward, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at that that piece of work and and see what we can do with that and. Um, a few other names, um, more local artists that, that I'm looking at. And, I, and I've had so many artists, even from like, um, I'm just talking with one artist from France and I've had people from New York reach out to me for collaborations ever since I dropped the album. So um, the future the future is exciting in terms of uh, collaborations. All right, and who would you like to work with? Because this is Real Life Matters and I, a lot of people pick pick and watch me and I've, and I've gotten several artists over the years get picked up <laughs> by people by watching this show. So who would you like to work with? Oh man, who would I like to work with? Uh, <sighs> I mean, honestly, any Toronto artist would be amazing to work with anyone um, established. I mean, I'd be lying if I, if I didn't say I, I'd love to work with Drake, of course, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you everybody, know, you, I tell you, I want yeah, anybody I mean, in America I mean, or, he put the city on, so and he's amazing at what he does. So I mean, definitely him and Tory Lanez is another one that I would really uh, I would love to work with. Um, you know, Nav, any of these guys, Killy, anybody would really it would be amazing to work with any of these guys who have uh, already made a name for themselves. Just just so much talent in the city, it's crazy. You know, I can't forget XO the weekend and. Um, yeah, really, just like the, the 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 stars are the limit right now. Well, a, a lot of things are the limit because everybody's at you know everybody's at home, and a lot of people had a lot of time to reflect, you know, with the you know with the COVID and everything going on. So a lot of you guys had a lot of time to be creative and have that creative space that you needed, so you can hunker down and do what you got to do. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna take a brief break, and we're gonna be right back, and we're gonna play your video. Sounds great. All right. I'm David Meltzer, and welcome to Two Minute Drill. Each contestant will get two minutes to pitch. Then they will answer one question and get feedback from our other featured judges. Improve every area of communication while saving time is what I've been doing for the last 15 years with startup solopreneurs up to C-level leaders at companies like Amazon and Microsoft. I do it by combining two truths we all know just rarely combine. In today's video, I'm sharing with you all my recipe for a curry bean curd stick with pigeon peas. 
black pepper and add salt to the taste you can always adjust after and grow some chopped scallions celery onions tomatoes minced garlic hot peppers and pimento peppers so you guys been knowing each other for quite some time right correct all right so how long you been going knowing each other I I ain't really keep track, uh -huh. but um, I think I know him from the hood. He's okay. younger than me, but I started hearing about him and then found out about him, got straight with him, whatever. There's a lot of history behind it, but I've been knowing him from the hood. Him, mm -hmm. I met him, like, he came to our studio because we had a studio in the hood. And mm -hmm. Well, we're back right now with Sunny Said So. I hope you won't be talking like that. No interview. <laughs> 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 you can't even see the guy's face. They were like, who? And who's he? You know? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but anyways, we don't, I don't want them coming attacking me now for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> well, they said that the commercials are sure are video. different. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, we're gonna go. We're gonna go see now your uh, video, um, immigrant vision, correct? That's right, immigrant vision. All right, just one minute. We're gonna get it here. I said so. Here we go. We got a story to tell. I made it from nothing, we coming from hell. Across the river, got me that visa. I ain't here just for a visit. Planet off feet, counting these bitches. Refugee making a killer. I got a feeling that we don't get big money. In the position, put somewhere along the line. You changed. You stop being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. Came with my daddy, landed in 94, bought on the passion. Staring at gamble, my happy, thinking I'm gonna be the baddest. Bought on the block with an addict. Back then, we didn't know baddies. Back then, you broke from my gang and from addict. Little kids acting like cannibals, raising the jungle. We were just animals, problems, we were just handled. None of our mamas that handled the nuts. God knows that we were the wild ones, that's why he smiled at us. Never got caught with the scans, stayed off the camera, and counted them bad. Tied the machine, cut the side of my head, stick it in bed. Bada we bada we got the cash, we got the bad. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You need a nobody. It's gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. We got a story to tell. Mm. Made it from nothing, we coming from hell. Crash me that river, got me that piece. I ain't here just for a visit. Planet our feet, counting these bitches. Refugee making a killing. I got a feeling that we gon' get bitches. Oh, what is it? In the condition. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you take and keep moving forward. That's how we did it start. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not point fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him. I'ma live wealthy and rich. Money gon' swell up my fist. How long you wait for my shit? My music still ain't away from me. Lay on, lay on, lay I get my death from the pain and the hate. Throwing that shade. Still I'm so sunny. I got no shame. Fight till I'm bloody. Walking alone like I'm cutty. I ain't be fucking with duddies. I got no buddies. It's just the fam and the money. You know these waters are muddy. Should've just stuck to my study. Ran out of love. So I said, fuck it. Got me a racket. Made me a rock. Tell him I'm coming with all of my cousins. If he ain't one, I do not trust him. We like I change the color of my We got a story to tell. Made it from nothing. We coming from hell. Crash me that river. 
got me that piece. I ain't here just for the vision. Planet off feet, counting these digits. Refugee making a killing. I got a feeling that we gon' get bigger. Immigrant vision. Well, 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 well. Look at you, look at you, look at you in this. <laughs> I can't hear you. Sorry about that. We, we committed to the role, you know? You were? It was, that was a real, and that was all shot in Toronto, Canada, right? Yeah, that was all shot in Toronto. Uh, fatty you Soprano thought it was somewhere else. Place, I'm though. telling you. I'm telling you, Toronto's got some good places to shoot. I tell you. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's uh, it's underrated. I'm telling you. Uh, we we actually just went to the forest here locally and and got those forest shots and uh, and then the rest of it was just in studio and in, in my neighborhood. Wow. So what was the most craziest moment that happened to you with that video? So you want to tell anybody or or some other music? <laughs> the craziest While moment you were shooting all. or something happened to you, yes. <laughs> the craziest moment probably was, uh, you know, it's just shooting in the in the cold. It was freezing that day. It was so cold. So kudos to all my guys who came out and um, who who contributed and, uh, you know, froze their butts off with me. It was, it was really uh, it was something else. So was it this year that you shot? Yeah, we shot it this year. Oh my gosh, it was cold up in um it was I hope it wasn't in January. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's been cold. The last few days it got warm and I was worried. I'm like, man, I was telling my manager Emiliano, I was I was like, man, we gotta release this video before the snow melts. <laughs> it's gonna be silly releasing a video in the summertime, but I, it all worked out. It all worked out. Oh, okay. So, okay, so what's the most memorable moment that you've had on, you know, in any set? Something crazy that's happened uh, on set. Yeah, or or maybe you're filming a video, or you're doing something on stage. You ever had something crazy that happened? Um, honestly, like surprisingly, it went so smooth. There was nothing too crazy that happened. I think um, nothing yet. <laughs> it, you know, it was just it was it was it was crazy to to get everybody together and and just see how everybody. Um, did their thing in front of the camera with those cameos that you see in the shots. Um, nothing too crazy happened, though. It was pretty straightforward. We were working the whole day. Um, yeah, I think I had, like, maybe, like, 20 minutes for lunch, and then I was back at it. Just had to do that wardrobe change shower, and, and that was it. All right, so, okay. So, um, so you know, tell them, tell them talking to us and everything. So what is your social media is and where can people reach you at? You can check me out at Sunny Said So on uh, Instagram, Sunny Said So on Facebook, Sunny Said So on YouTube, Sunny Said So on Google. Um, well, so you're here from, 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 from Sunny Said So. You hear so <laughs> That's it, because I said so. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, Sunny Said So, it's been a pleasure it, 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 you know, talking to you today, I'm telling you the name, the the video sounds good. Everything sounds good. So, you know, you guys look out for him. You got a little bit of a challenge here coming on because this guy, this guy is making some moves. Thank you. Thank you very much. And um, just want to give a shout out to uh, 416 Company. You can see the hat here. They've been uh, supporting me from the beginning. They actually uh, helped me release my first single ever uh, called Lovebirds. It's also on the album. So big shout out to 416 Company. You can check them out at 416 Company uh, on Instagram as well. And uh, big shout out to Fatty Soprano who shot the video. Uh, his name is also at Fatty Soprano on Instagram. That's good. So any, any other buddy sh want to shout out before we cut off? We sign off? Oh, it's, uh, it's a long list. So oh, God. time for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I thank you again, Sunny Said So. And I thank all the viewers for watching. You can see on the screen, follow me, subscribe to the channel, all this other, you know, wherever you want. Like Sunny said so. Go and come on, it just takes a second. It doesn't take long. Everybody can just pull out their smartphones and do it. So it is, I do want to thank all the viewers and everybody for tuning in today uh, for Real Life Matters. So bye for now.
Thanks so much, D-Bus. All right.